All of you wanting good Nintendo 64 replacement joysticks? You'll have to pry it out from this Yoshi's chest. It's the only thing keeping him alive. He kind of looks like Iron Man. I oh, actually, I was about to do my whole spiel, and then I realized he has the control stick on the center of his body, and then his arms are the other two prongs on the control. That's really clever. Wow. Uh, and it just took the thing popping up on the side for me to notice. Anyway, hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Wooly World. Last time... We got one step closer to the forbidden land of the dresser by opening up world five, even though it had been open up for some time still. For sake of the bonus stage, we're pretending like it was only open and this time, shower curtains never look so majestic. It's beginning to look like a nice world. And it's also beginning to look like a nice world. <laughs> These snowy mountain tops represented by cotton atop these spools. Uh, it's so pretty. Apparently it's pronounced skein and not skine, and I had a lot of people really upset with me over that. I'm sorry, I only took up one knitting hobby, and it was cross-stitching, and I was very impatient as a five-year-old, so I just kind of didn't really adhere to crossing everything and just kind of did everything willy-nilly as I felt like it, and it looked really messy. I'm wasting a lot of time. 5-1. Fluffy snow, here we go. This is such grand music, wow. <laughs> Forgot how good this was. I could have magnetic items. I could make myself super powered. I could not be bothered by invisible objects. And I could even gorge out because it's the holidays. All that sounds very helpful, but I think nothing beats sledding through the snow with one's dog. Starting things off, I think this might be the most visually pleasing world yet. I'm gonna just say that straight up, that I think that it is that good. You got that beanie back there representing the mountain with the smile on it that is so typical in Mario Fair. It's a very clever take on what's just kind of looked a single way for so long. And uh, it's kind of only the uh, <laughs> tip of the iceberg. You got pom-poms, you got kind of like a uh, sheepskin seat cover look going to this ground to make it all fluffy and snow-like. It is all very pleasing and, oh, wait, that Patooie pir- Wait, Shy Guys and Patooie Piranhas are genetically related? It's officially canon now? What? <laughs> okay, um, I don't want to know how that reproductive process goes, and apparently that also means that Shy Guys have those masks from birth, and it's a normal organic part of their body. Very strange implications, but we got the sun rising on this day, and I can't do anything about that now. Can oh, wait, I understand. I'm, I'm silly. Uh, this great big oversized cotton ball is going to serve a purpose by destroying that. Poochie, who's a good little stepping stone. That's right, you are. <laughs> Aw, he didn't even look proud of himself. Yeah, who's a good stepping stone. That's right. Uh, okay. I think I got to go. Wait. Well, it's gonna take a little while to get back. I know that this is a remix of the main Yoshi's Willy World theme, but oh no! <laughs> Apparently I think that sucks and that's where I was going with it. No. It has consumed my head! I think this is about as big as it's gonna get. Now I know to not just hold right. I was gonna say that this music, I know that it's a remix of the Yoshi's Willy World main theme with kind of wintry instrumentation, but to me, it always sounds like shopping music that you'd hear in a department store around Christmas time. Just listen. It just sounds like it wants to sell you something. I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, Poochie, you're not a hot dog, so uh, please don't uh, get near me. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, even he didn't like that pun. Oh, okay. You can light them again by... Breathing fire on them, okay. And then you, uh, didn't mean to tap that, but we get to see Pudgy fall us under the screen there. Uh, I'll take my heart, thank you. And nothing invisible, nothing invisible, nothing invisible. And into a deep dark cave that doesn't feel like it wants to sell you something. That's my favorite variety of cave. Right away, it is a new power-up, the Fire Watermelon! I don't know if spicy watermelon would really be a good mix of flavors, but I guess it exists now, I suppose. Poochie, Poochie, 
Poochie, jump, jump boy. Poochie, uh, okay. Uh, my dog is mightier than fire, apparently. What do I care? It's the Miiverse stamp. I always say that, always say it, but it never really seems to hammer in for more than a few seconds because I always keep doing that. Come on, this is a nice level. I'm not supposed to be on fire. Let's duck, take you out. And then I guess I could, yeah, I could just do that. There's a hidden area that you're calling out for and because you want me to go in there so badly, don't worry, I'll find a way. Boom, foom. Or uh, I, I kind of need a way up there, don't I? Uh, Poochie? Poochie, gonna help me? No, you're not a good enough help. <sighs> I got all the beads along the way, because of course I did. Into this pipe is a bonus room. Very happy that I did this now because these tend to be among the best things around. Ooh, okay, Moto Yoshi came back. Beep beep. Whoa, okay, uh, well first I was getting a Nintendo 64 for Christmas and then it turned into a motorcycle, so it's a really, really good Christmas, I have to say. There that is. Going on the roofs, going onto the floors. Jump and grab that. Oh, what, no, 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 oh, yeah, no, uh, um. Well, we're doing it. I guess we're going down this way. Oh, uh, uh well, when I said we're going down, we weren't, man, I am sucking out loud. Can I go, but. No. Oh, wait, wait, no. Ouch. There's realizing everything a second too late, and then there's that. That was realizing everything a second too late so many times that it overflows into negative numbers, and you somehow missed it before it even happened. That was so bad, I wanted to go back and do it a second time immediately, and lo and behold, I find some hidden hearts along the way. Poochie waved his arms to hopefully give me a little bit of his talent, and uh, for a Nintendo 64 that turned into a motorbike, I sure was disappointing now, wasn't I? Okay, let's do a little better this time. There's that first loop missed. Or that was missed, I didn't miss it that time, and I was gonna go down this way anyway, so I don't feel as bad about that anymore either. Oh, I could have looped around that for more rewards! Okay, you're not gonna make that same mistake again! Over the rainbow, give me that! And that's still number two, soaring on down! Get this, loop up and around, and then through, whoa! That was cool! Wow, managed to be even more fun than the last time we did that, and uh, didn't kill as many speedruns as it either. I do want to say that um, I, I mentioned speedruns last time that we did that, and um, how the any percent category is pretty dead thanks to Moto Yoshi and Mellow Mode and all that. Well, I, I didn't mean to make it sound like that 100% uh, is the only category run. I think I kind of worded that a little bit poorly. Um, the more commonly run category is any percent classic mode. There is a category that just ignores Moto Yoshi and Mellow Mode and all those exploits. Um, I, on the note of speedruns, I have to say that I have so much endless respect for people that actually do the 100% route, because any speedrun is an insane amount of memorization, honing skills, and everything, but I can't imagine getting all the Miiverse stamps at a normal, like, casual pace. Getting them all as fast as that does, and having seen the run before and watched like a couple of them in full, it is something to behold doing it that fast, where in only a few hours you're able to get every single collectible there is, because Yoshi doesn't pull any punches, man. Getting all the collectibles in a Yoshi game is a badge of honor. And just having somebody who can crank out one of those in less than a day and do it just with the grace that they do, I have a lot of respect for that. I think it is one of the most respectful, um, difficult speedruns that I've seen. They do the bonus stages, they do everything, and I think the one that I watched only had like two or three deaths in it too. Because I am not that fast or that talented, I am choosing to speed this up, giving you kind of the Cliff Notes version of this. It was so much waiting for fire to drop, breathing fire once, waiting for fire to drop, breathing fire once, over and over again, and. I didn't want to make you sit through that. It was kind of dull and went on for like 
way longer than it should have. Uh, Poochie standing on hind quarters. Uh, okay. Uh, the fire just bounced off of his butt. <laughs> the butt offered less resistance than the fire. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Let's fry you. Have some uh, baked baseball for dinner tonight. And then what next? Thank oh, no, no. Come here. Thank you. Poochie, wow, uh, you're struggling to hang on there, buddy. Give me that fire. Poochie, I need you to move. Poochie's been a mixed bag. He's been kind of a little bit easier, but also kind of not. He made the uh, ice blocks and getting all the beads in there really easy by comparison to what it would have been where I would have definitely been screwed if I didn't have them. Give me that. Thank you. Nothing. I'm, I'm going to hope there's nothing invisible. Oh, hey. Hey, hello. Hello. Uh, good thing I don't listen to your sense of direction, Poochie. I'm dreaming of a world where I can see invisible objects when there's ice cubes to break all over the screen. And I'm not even remotely in tune! <laughs> I like to think that my horrible singing is what triggered the avalanche that caused this thing to chase after me, because that'd be some good karma right there now, wouldn't it? Oh god, oh no, 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 no! As I was saying, I was doing that, and I just realized it has the department store music playing right now. That's kind of funny. It's just like, hello, sir. Would you like to buy some untimely demise at the hand at the cold, dead hands of snow? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Thank you. All right. And my dog is absolutely fine. That's good to know. That's... We just got a flower, didn't we? And it wasn't... Don't tell me I need an egg. Don't tell me I need to throw an egg at something invisible. Don't tell me. that The flower was just here. <sighs> Poochie, I want you to know that I love you. He looks so confused looking for me after I was gone! I can't do this! My thought was, because it was the very end of the level, I might as well just kill myself and go back and try again, seeing if I can find it this time, because that's where number four is. So number five has got to be close by. That's what I'm thinking. Is it maybe from getting every beat in this run? No, it doesn't look like it. This looks like some kind of pathway, but there's nothing there. That's all death down there, I'm pretty sure. There's not a lot of room for it to actually be in, is the thing. No! It is an egg! It is an egg! It is an egg! What a strange group of words to cry out in pain. It is an egg. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and say it. As fun as this was, as fun as the level itself is, this practice of putting things at the end of levels to take your eggs away or just not giving you that many opportunities to make them, and then, whoopsie, you didn't have an egg at the end of the level so you can't pick up the final collectible, that's starting to get old. It's a common thing among this type that happens a lot, and it's an example of how getting all the collectibles can be more challenging, but I am already getting a little sick of it, just like not getting the bonus stages. But aside from that, great way to kick off a level, even if it had no new enemies in it, was interesting, challenging, and all around very great visual theming. The first new Yoshi friend being- Oh, he's cool! Alpine Yoshi!
Whose big giant nose is a special little snowflake? Come on, let's go on an adventure together. <laughs> wow, all right. Um, next up, Frozen Solid and Chilled. If you thought the last level was strangely missing any sort of new enemy, which is very not typical of starting off a new world, those prayers are about to be answered. On ice, Yoshi doesn't quite slip slide away as much as one would expect. His feet shape shift into ice skates. Doesn't twirl when he jumps. Unfortunately, uh, Mario's not quite around to perfect that right now. We have our first new enemy in the form of the spray fish. Spray fish don't hurt anybody. They're just out to have a fun time and hawk a great big old uh, stringy loogie all over you. That sounds really disgusting. But it's okay. We got a very twinkly song going on here. We got those shower curtain Aurora Borealises. Aurora Boreali, or, or Borealis? Borealis might just be the... I always thought Borealis was such an unnecessary word though because if you just say Aurora, everybody already knows what you're talking about. But I don't know, maybe it has some kind of scientific meaning that a simpleton such as myself cannot hope to understand because I'm not the scientist who discovered those humming lights that are only visible up north. By freezing enemies with this ice melon, you can slide them into collectibles and they are just as good at throwing an egg at said thing. It's pretty nice. Frozen enemies will also just kind of behave a little bit. You know, you can stomp on them as well. And we have another new enemy, the Nepina, which is oddly vulnerable to one attack despite how big he and intimidating he seems. Uh, this enemy uh, can be gone inside of without getting hurt if there is a platform underneath him. It's very strange. He does not totally go away for good, I don't think. He should come back any second. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Nah, okay. Well, he might not be coming back, but those glaciers drifting away inside of that water and how that all looks, it's pretty creative. And if there's one thing I gotta give him props for, it's having the... I was gonna say having the balls to make an ice world, but... You know, that actually does make sense on multiple levels, how a lot of people wouldn't like that. Um, but what I mean is, the fact that they even made a snow world work at all in this type of game. These here are ice snippets. They freeze you, but they do not hurt you. Only touching them hurts you. Their ice breath is actually harmless, and that's a good thing to keep in mind, because there are times where it's better to just get frozen than to take the hit. Um, as for why an ice world would be so impressive, is that with everything being made of craft materials, you think about how all these things are associated with warmth and typically, you know, look really warm and comforting and yet they still made it look cold at the same time. They stated that this was a problem during development and I have to say, they handled the problem pretty much as well as I could have expected anyone to because this is one of the prettiest ice levels out there as somebody who thinks ice levels typically are very pretty and think it's one of the saving graces of them. It's really good stuff. Spray fishes can launch you up into stuff. Frequently the level design is built for it and not jerkish, thankfully. Take out these ice snippets, and then we got a whale, a la Mario 2. Very similar shape, just very similar form, very similar perspective, and uh, come on, come on, come on. Thank you! He sprouts a rainbow out of his blowhole! Did I just hear Navi the fairy or something? Well, uh... Apparently we're getting hypothermia because it's Mermaid Yoshi! <laughs> Not the best time to transform into this form. Beaver stamps ahoy. Oh, no. I'm back. Give me that. Uh, it's okay. It's just beads. And I can... The timer always goes back up to 20, so it's especially no big deal. There. And then ride that up. Ride these up. Go after my beads. Why do I get the feeling the pool that those guys were in had some kind of collectible in it because they would totally do that. There's that, we're gonna swim up a wave. Oh no, 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 no. Down there. I get to have my moment of truth of finding out if we actually did skip one. Okay, well it wasn't a uh, bundle of Wonderwall. barely do it. And I think that was every collectible, at least every one that was invisible. Now, these whales seem to be made of ice because they, 
Come on, Yoshi. Show the nice people what the whale does. Come on. Okay, he doesn't actually do it as well as I thought he did. It, it seemed like that would be like the ramp or something, but I guess that proves wrong what I was just saying, that it looks like it's made of a... I can go back in. I can actually go back in? It's not often those transformation doors are accessible again after using them once, yet it is here and it allows opportunities to get them again. Doesn't seem like there was anything in that pool and it was just out to have a little bit of fun, so I can appreciate that. The pool not existing for an ulterior motive, just meant to be some water for us to swim through and have a fun, fun time. And we're back. Right away, we got this going on here. And we got a piranha plant going on there. And uh, he's dead. Okay, well, no, no, I didn't want to kill the shot. No, okay. Uh, we got to do this a little bit better. That shy guy looks like he's going to clear that. Enemies on the ceiling that are frozen will just fall down right away. What a painful way to go, ouch. I thought usually you had at least a couple of minutes after falling into sub-zero waters though, but that guy just went, oh good, okay, they weren't jerks. Kick him, follow him, and, well he got the flower, take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, gotta get creative with kicking those enemies around using the ice watermelons, and I gotta say that if there was ever a Yoshi item that I'd wanna try, I'm not really a big fan of the idea of spicy watermelons that would make you breathe fire, but an ice watermelon, now that, just kinda having like a, cool minty taste to it and having cold breath after biting into it. Oh, I'd love to have an ice watermelon. I think that's always been my favorite Yoshi power up and I've always wanted to know what that would be like eating it. We're just having one really. Big old snowflake that's uh, adorning a flower. And that's number four, not number five. You know what that means? Backtracking, hooray! Said only me. There was a blue pipe. Oh. <laughs> Short term memory, my how you've been going downhill over the years. Oh, there it is. Wow, I look even better frozen. I kind of wish I looked like that all the time. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. I'm not sure if uh, we're gonna end up with every item, but it's always them. Oh, there's one wonder. Well, I guess I only had to walk about five more feet to find it if I actually missed one or not. Aren't you glad that I cut out complete wastes of time? I am. Keeps you from yelling at me. Oh, no. Well, crud. Come on. Give me that. And we have another Nepanut up ahead. Now, I'm gonna tell you one of the strangest localization changes of all time. Officially, these are not called Nepanuts in Europe. If you're wondering about the name Nepanut, it's because it's Neptune, but with the second part spelled backwards, which is really stupid, honestly. I've never really liked that name. But, okay, so it's not called a Nepanut in Europe and Australia. Over there, officially, it is called a giant Nepanut. Maybe they think that, I don't know, everything's bigger in America, so the concept of something just being big by default would be a foreign concept to Europeans. I don't know the reason, but it's consistently Nepanut in America, but giant Nepanut everywhere else. And I don't know what good reason they would have for doing that. Also, wow, that is cruel. We gotta go back over this way. Take this, I smell it, not get it. I stand corrected that they do actually hurt some people, yeah. The fish themselves are painful, their water spouts are not as long as they don't launch you into anything. I was saying, get an ice melon. Take it in. Or no. I can't do that. What about if... Should I be the egg? That's another good out of context one. Yes, I should be the egg. He pushes you in, and there that goes. That's very clever. I can't believe I didn't remember that. Man, what a way to kick off a new world. What a way to kick off a new world. This has been just the epitome of creative level design, new mechanics coming out of nowhere. Level, world 4 might have been light on the new mechanics a little bit, though, but this one, certainly not. <laughs> 
There is a new bonus stage in this world. I remember it. I've seen it before. There's an icy wintry one. But my gamepad almost fell off my lap. That would have been a disastrophe. That's perfect aside from the health. Everything's free next time. I'm a big fan of winter holiday sales, and our next Yoshi friend is... Eh, not really all that great. He Glacier Yoshi just looks like a less awesome version of Alpine Yoshi. <laughs> next up, looks like we got a scroll to read, but uh, unfortunately Yoshi is not very literate, so this is gonna take a little while to decipher. Next time on Yoshi's Willy World, we will see what kind of progress he has made toward understanding the text of Flying Carpet Cruise. See you guys then.